Hi, this is Ian Boyd, the writer-director of Being Left-Handed the Movie. This is episode number one of This Left-Handed Day in History. It's February the 23rd. This is a new blog that will cover the experience of being left-handed through history, the pride, the prejudice, the accolades, and the embarrassments of being left-handed, and what's what's interesting about being left-handed, what's happened in history, and um, here we go. Um, as far as births go, 1940, February 23rd, Peter Fonda uh, was born, and uh, he's a left-hander, uh, most famous for Easy Rider, which is a great film if no one's ever seen it. comes from a great family of actors, uh, and he happens to be one of them. Happy birthday, Peter. Also born on this day is Johnny Winter, who is a blues guitarist and singer who's worked with Rick Derringer and brother Edgar Winter. Um, he died in uh, 2014. Uh, born today is Dakota Fanning, who is not left-handed, but uh, what is of note is that the movie The Runaways, uh, the real-life story of Cherie Curry and Joan Jett, who are both left-handed, um, Dakota Fanning and Kristen Stewart signed the contracts with Mercury Records in the film, left-handed, to emulate the characters. So... A lot of people think that she's left-handed because of that, but she's not. She was just signing it left-handed. Um, in 1804, there was the, um, an uprising based on Napoleon, who was left-handed. And uh, apparently, um, Louis uh, uh, Philippe uh, I was the um, current leader of France, wasn't very popular. And because uh, Napoleon had been so popular, there was an uprising, and um, the, the uh, armed forces were brought in to, to, to bring it down, but uh, the thing became so popular that the soldiers just threw down their weapons and just joined the protesters. So I guess uh, Napoleon was pretty popular, and um, um, I, there's different viewpoints about Napoleon, but he certainly he was a great strategist, and... Uh, that utilization of his right brain to to do what what he did, whether whether good or bad, uh, he certainly was um, brilliant. Um, in 1974, Terry Garr appears on the Bob Newhart show in Confessions of an Orthodontist. I don't know why that's significant, um, but it was on a site that I saw. So um, she is left-handed. Uh, very unique actor. You can kind of sense the left-handedness in her. She's she's uh she's definitely not a carbon cutout. She's very she's very her and uh, some some nice work, some very nice work, and uh, I like her. So hopefully you do too. Um, and 1978, the 20th Grammy Awards, Hotel California won a bunch of awards for the Eagles. Uh, what's interesting there is that Glenn Fry and Don Henley are both left-handed. So, so the uh, both of the singer, you know, uh, lead singers, songwriters, you know, uh, Henley played drums and and guitar, um, but um, both very talented and uh, interesting. I didn't actually know that. Uh, in 1969, Tyrannosaurus Rex, which was uh, the original name for T-Rex appeared at the Free Trade Hall in Manchester, England. Um, the support act was David Bowie, uh, who was performing a one-minute mime uh, as, as the opening uh, act. So, once again, showing that he's definitely multi-talented left-hander. Um, uh, Mark uh, Bolin, the lead singer for uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, I don't know if he's left-handed, but he uh, has a song, or they had a song called Left Hand Luke, uh, which was kind of interesting. In 1970, uh, appearing at the Roadhouse Spring Festival in Camden, London, once again, David Bowie and the Hype, uh, performance of his new band along with uh, some other acts. Um, Bowie was uh, definitely embodied what being left-handed is in a lot of ways. Uh, Multi-talented, could kind of do anything, uh, approach things in a way that he just did what he thought was the right way to do it. And I think that's very significant about being left-handed, that we don't let the world and what has been done before us tell us how we need to do things. We just sort of tend to see things kind of clearly, what needs to be done. And that doesn't necessarily have to mean, you know, as an artist, 
in, in any kind of work that people do. It's just, uh, I think the more right brain people are, the more they just see clearly the pattern in which they have to follow to get things done. And that, that results in a lot of what people call creative and, and, and new and different. So he definitely embodied those things. Um, in 1978, the police appeared in a Wrigley's chewing gum commercial for US TV. Uh, the band dyed their hair blonde for their appearance. Um, and both Sting and Stuart Copeland are left-handed. So therefore, two-thirds of the police are left-handed. And they were a pretty important and great band. Um, in uh, 1940, uh, Woody Guthrie wrote the lyrics to This Land is Your Land in his room at the Hanover House Hotel in New York City. Um don't know that he's left-handed, but later the song was covered by Bob Dylan, who is left-handed. Um, once again, too, some some of these things get muddled. People will say this person's left-handed and that person's not that left-handed, or they're not left-handed. My opinion is, is that there's so many left-handers in history that we will never know about because of the conditions at the time where people were forced to be right-handed. And so if somebody was left-handed, we, we didn't know about it, and we still don't know about it. And not until uh, literally this last generation in, in the Western world do you have a very consistent left-handedness for people who are left-handed. And even then, it's not complete because a lot of times you get grandparents or parents or great-grandparents who insist on the child being left-handed. So even still in the West, there's prejudice against left-handers, and people think that it'll be easier for them to be right-handed. But certainly in India and China um, and in the, generally in, in a lot of different parts of the world, it's still not a standard thing to allow people to be left-handed without any kind of social repercussions. And so um, if once in a while somebody makes a mistake about somebody's left-handed or tries to include them in a list of being left-handers, I think it's fair because there's so many people that we don't know that it's probably way less to include somebody who is left-handed than it, it would be to find out how many people that were left-handed that, you know, we, we'll never know about that are, you know, very talented and famous and whatever. So um, anyway, so moving along, uh, in 1965, the, uh, the Beatles uh, began filming a follow-up to A Hard Day's Night that was called Eight Arms to Hold You, which was ultimately ended up being called Help. Obviously, the Beatles are very left-handed. Uh, you've got uh, Paul's left-handed, plays left-handed. Ringo's left-handed, plays right-handed. And you have John Lennon, who is right-handed, but I believe he is left-eyed because I've seen pictures of him looking through a telescope with his right eye. Um, and uh, I think that being left-eyed is as important creatively as being left-handed because you're literally seeing the world through your right brain. And only one out of eight people is right-eyed, and I'm sorry, left-eyed, and uh, only uh, one out of 11 people is left-handed. So it's kind of interesting. It's something I'd, I'd like to actually include a part in my film, and I'd like to include lefties everywhere. I've, I've been noticing um, photographers. I've been um, looking at a lot of uh, videos about photographers and stuff lately. I'm a, I'm a photographer, and I've been kind of watching a lot of things like that. And... Uh, it's amazing. Uh, you'll get 10 photographers and eight of them will be left eyed. And I myself have told many, many people, I'm uh, literally maybe dozens of people or, you know, like 10, 15 people easily that they were left hand or left eyed because they didn't know that they're left eyed. And I'll be looking at them and they're looking through a camera and I'll say, do you know that you're left eyed? And they don't even know it. And I'll say, do you notice a smudge mark on the screen because your nose is sticking into the screen because it's made for a right-hander? It's been kind of interesting. Uh, and a lot of my friends that aren't left-handed are left-eyed. So there's, there's something very uh, significant about that. So kind of a fun, interesting thing. So um, 1974, uh, Rebel Rebel, David Bowie entered the UK chart single, uh, reached number five the following month. Um, became a trademark. Once again, Bowie, um, definitely a, uh, you know, a, amazing left-handed person. Um, Isaac Hayes was jailed in 1989 uh, by an Atlanta judge for owing $346,300 in child support. So uh, 
lefty got in a little trouble there. Isaac Hayes, uh, I didn't know he was left-handed until just the other day. Interesting. 1998, all members of Oasis were banned for life from flying Cathay Pacific Airlines after abusive and disgusting behavior during a flight from Hong Kong to Perth, Australia. Uh, Noel Gallagher, the, uh, the lead singer, songwriter, and guitarist, uh, is left-handed. So then, <laughs> once again, left-handers can get a little crazy there. Um, uh, 2002, the Bee Gees made their last ever concert appearance while they appeared at the Love and Hope Ball, Miami Beach, Florida. Um, Barry Gibb, the lead singer, once again, is, uh, I mean, they, they all sang, but he, you know, generally is always featured and pretty much the lead singer. Um, uh, he's left-handed and uh, uh, outlived all his brothers, uh, which is another further proof that left-handers, uh, this rubbish about them dying sooner was disproven because the study that showed that they died sooner the people that they were asking about did not admit to being left-handed because they were in their minds no longer left-handed because they'd been switched around so that's been totally disproven left-handers do not die sooner that's uh that's ridiculous um also the fact that you know lefties are you know so right-brained that uh they're, they're very good drivers. They're apparently better drivers than anybody else, no matter what side of the road they drive on and blah, blah, blah. They're, they're good at adaptability. So this idea that they're just going to, like, fall off a cliff is, is kind of stupid. Um, in uh, 2010, uh, London's Abbey Road Studios was made a listed building, protecting it from plans to radically alter it. Cultural Minister Margaret Hodge uh, listed the studios on the advice of English Heritage, saying that he had produced some of the best music ever in the world. Uh, and that was, of course, referring to the Beatles, who, once again, are obviously left-handed, and, you know, most, uh, most of them, some, some left influence, and uh, an, an incredible band. Uh, 2003, the 45th Grammy Awards held at Madison Square Garden, New York. Best female vocal, Sheryl Crow. Well, Sheryl Crow is not left-handed. But the song that she got the award for, Steve McQueen, was about a left-hander, Steve McQueen, who's the I iconic star of, uh, of the silver screen and who is uh, definitely left-handed. Um, also at that uh, same Grammy Awards, the best rock performance went to Coldplay, and Coldplay is led up by singer-songwriter Chris Martin, who is also left-handed. Uh, once again, same awards. You've got uh, In My Place, Best Rap, Rap Album by Eminem, who is also left-handed. So there's a plethora of left-handed awards at the uh, 2003 45th Grammy Awards on February 23rd. And that's it for today's uh, first blog of uh, this left-handed day in history. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please tune in again. Once again, it's the first show. If you got any suggestions uh, or comments, please let, let me know. Uh, like and share, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.